Hi everyone, I'm Catherine Ross from BreakFreeWithEFT.com and today I want to talk to business owners. So whether you're a solopreneur, an entrepreneur, you have a startup business or you've been in business uh, a while, this might actually relate to you. So we talk a lot about fear in business. When you start a business, you can have a lot of fear for so many different reasons. But a lot of people talk about having a fear of failure. And the funny thing is, is that usually we don't actually have a fear of failure. We can have a fear of success that blocks us. So yes, obviously, you know, we, we're worried about failing or perceived failure. But the thing that actually blocks us the most uh, in terms of getting to a point where we want to be in our business and reaching our goals is actually more often than not a fear of success and what that means. Because if you think about it, the success is not all roses and rainbows and unicorns and butterflies. Success has downsides as well. And our subconscious understands this and it wants to protect us from those downsides. And so uh, we will actually stay where we are unless we address those fears. So if you think about it, what does success bring? Yes, money. Yes, freedom, choice. But what are the downsides of success? Have you ever asked yourself, what are the downsides of success? And you know what? You can come up with a pretty big list. We have things like less time. I might not be able to spend time with my family. Uh, there might be more weight of responsibility on my shoulders. I might have to keep it up. Is this sustainable for me? All of these different reasons to actually stay where we are. And I know that my own experience when I was in my business um, in the early years, I had a block about being overwhelmed. So I couldn't understand why, you know, I wasn't attracting um, many clients into my practice. And I thought, what, what's this about? And then I got really clear after doing some tapping and it was actually a fear of being overwhelmed. Because to me, if I was successful, that meant I had an influx of clients that I'd have to constantly get back to, or I was worried that I wouldn't be able to answer everyone's emails or questions or phone calls or texts or Facebook comments, and I'd be overwhelmed at trying to fit everything in. So therefore, my subconscious made it mean that, well, success isn't safe. Uh, lots of clients aren't safe because that means that you're going to be overwhelmed and we don't want to be that way. So they kept them at bay. When I addressed that fear of success and the overwhelm that it might bring me, I now easily attract clients into my business and I'm able to manage them without stress. So let's see if we can tap away that fear of success and all that might mean to you as well. So first of all, I just want you to get clear on that fear. So think about fear and think about you know, success and those downsides that might come with it. And we're just going to do a really general round on this, okay? So you can set the intention for whatever it is that you want to address specifically about the fear of success, but we're just going to do a globalized tapping round on it. So starting on your karate chop point and repeating after me, even though I have this fear of success and all that means to me, and it's really blocking me in my business. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this fear of success and all that means to me, I might not have more time. I don't know if I'll be able to keep it up. I don't know if I'm going to meet mine or others' expectations. My. I deeply and completely accept myself. All this fear of success. Sometimes it's safer to stay where I am. All this fear about what success might bring. All these downsides to success. I've never really thought about them that much. But now I realize that they're blocking me. All this fear of success. Keeping me stuck in my business.
there might be more expectation placed upon me. I might have to sacrifice more of my time. Maybe I'll be burdened by the weight of responsibility that success brings. All this fear of success. All these blocks to overcoming this fear. Release and let them go now. It's okay to let them go. I give myself permission to feel safe enough to achieve my goals. Clearing this fear of success through every cell in my body. All the way back through my past. Back through all those times in my life where I was confronted with the downsides of success. Release and let them go. Clearing this fear of success through every cell in my body. Success is possible for me. And I know that when I'm successful, I have more power to choose. All this fear of success. It's safe to let it go now. I give myself permission to achieve my goals. And I choose to be open to believing that success is safe for me. Clearing any blocks that are in my way. Releasing them at a cellular level. I am deeply safe now. And success is safe for me. Okay, wonderful. So take a nice deep breath in and out. And just check in with yourself. How are you feeling? What did you notice throughout that tapping round? Was there anything that was coming up for you? Any events, flashes of memories, pictures, um, any other emotions that you may have noticed as well? The more specific that you can get on the issue, the more results you're going to get as well. So this is a great introductory video to help you to become aware of those blocks and what they are. And then you can go on and directly tap on them as well. Beautiful. So go and succeed. Go and chase your dreams, your goals, because achievement is absolutely worth it and success is worth it too. And so are you. All right. So for more information, please uh, log on to my website, which is www.breakfreewitheft.com. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, queries, comments, please, uh, please feel free to contact me or my contact details are on the website. In the meantime, keep doing what you love because it's absolutely worth it in the end. And that's why I'm here today because I've persisted and, you know, yes, there are downsides to um, success. Sometimes you, you've got to rush off and, and do a million things in the day like I've got to do today. Um, but you know what? When I think back to where I was, the pain of staying where I was is uh, far greater than the pain of you know actually moving forward and those downsides of success. But the more success you have, the more freedom you actually have to choose as well. So let's stick with that and go with that beautiful positive energy. All right. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.